You want to first start off by painting each block with just one coat of paint. So I'm going to start with the black one and I'm just going to give it a quick coat. And you want to paint really thin layers on here because that way it'll dry a little bit faster. Let me show when you're painting with the orange, you want to get the one with the hole in it. So since we are adding this vinyl decal to the front of the block here, we're going to go ahead and distress it before applying this. So when you're distressing pieces, you want to focus on the edges because that's where it would naturally be worn. And this really doesn't take a whole lot um, of effort to get it worn looking. And then if you want to add like a little bit more, just go in a little bit further. And then just so that my piece is you know, coherent all the way around, um, I always do the entire piece all the way around. Okay, and then just take a cloth, a lint-free cloth preferably, and just kind of wipe that sawdust off of there. All right, so this piece is distressed and it is ready for the vinyl. So what I use is just one of these vinyl squeegees. Um, they're really inexpensive to pick up. Um, I will put the Amazon link of where I got these um, on the post here. So what you want to do is just kind of give that pretty good rub and you want to do this on a hard surface so it's okay if you do it on the block itself and then flip it over and do the same thing just kind of give it a good swipe and then you're going to remove this paper backing and just slowly peel it away and I usually do this at a really sharp angle and oftentimes I will just kind of lay it flat against it it's it's um, uh, oftentimes I'll just lay it flat against like that and just kind of roll it off. So what you're wanting to do is you want to keep these, the vinyl lettering attached to this clear sticky adhesive, which is the transfer tape. And this will ensure that you get all the vi vinyl lettering um, applied to the front here and just kind of one easy swoop. You won't have to do any guesswork. You won't have to um, make sure everything is straight and every letter gets on straight. And <clears throat> this just makes your life a whole lot easier to have this transfer tape. Okay, so now what you want to do is, um, I'm gonna face this towards you so that you can see it a little bit easier. Um, but you want to place it on there. Just try to get it as even as you can. I think that looks great. And then from the middle out, you want to just kind of press it down. And then use your squeegee and do the same thing. And then you'll do the same thing when you peel this paper backing off. You want to do the same thing with this clear transfer tape. And just go at a really sharp angle you can even roll it off like I do. I find this to be the easiest way to do it. Okay, and then that is on there. 
So in doing the pumpkin stencil, you just wanna be sure that the hole is on the top here um, and that you apply the stencil so that the face is positioned correctly for this because you don't want an upside down pumpkin on there. So we're gonna do the same thing. Press that out. And if you don't have one of these, you can um, just use like a library card. Um, I don't recommend using your debit card because you don't want that to break, but it'll break any kind of rewards card would be great. And just simply peel that off. You just wanna take your finger and go all the way around. So if you have a bubble, just kind of work it out these are fairly simple stencils, so usually they will work out pretty well. And you won't have to put too much effort into getting them out. So you need a paper towel for this step. So go ahead and just put a little bit of paint. You don't need much. And we're gonna use the base of the sponge. And then I usually like to get it like that. You don't need very much paint at all. Dab it off on your paper towel so that it's about like that and then apply it to your block. So you can see that I'm hardly getting any paint at all on here and that's exactly what you want. This prevents paint bleed. Which is something that is such a pain in the butt to fix. Once you get done And you just wanna go in an up and down motion. You never wanna go across like this. You always wanna go up and down. If you go across, then it forces the paint underneath the stencil, and that causes a lot of mistakes. So we'll let that dry. You can see the green still underneath of there and that's exactly what you want. You still wanna be able to see the base color underneath of here. So we'll let this dry and then we'll do a second coat and then we'll peel up the stencil. Okay, so he's pretty dry. So we will go ahead and do that second coat. And it may not look very dark on here, but I promise you, once you actually peel the stencil up, it's gonna be a lot darker underneath there. Okay. 
Okay, so that looks pretty good. So you want to take something sharp. You can use the pen that came in with your um, kit. And you just want to, if you can't get it, you can pick, pick it up like this and just try to do it that way. And you just want to go from one corner to the other. And you might have to wiggle it a little bit to get it loosened up. And then again, just keep peeling until you got it apart. When you go to distress these blocks, again, you want to focus on the edges. And then you also just want to give like a quick, just kind of a swipe um, along the front with your sandpaper. Okay, so when you get to this part, you don't, it's um, a pretty tight fit, so you really don't need any glue. So just push them down in there. And then just tie this little guy around. And then if you want to make this a little more ragged, you can always just peel these little things and fray it a little bit more. So if you have any questions at all about your own block set, um, please reach out to me. If you order the kit on Etsy, um, just send me a convo directly on Etsy. I like to keep all of the messages on there um, through those links. And then if, um, if you ordered on our website, just send me an email at Megan stevens plus five at gmail.com. See you then.